ZTE is pretty good when it comes to affordable handsets and the Skate is a fine example of this. It's a cheap and cheerful handset offering up a rather generous 4.3 inch display. No other budget handset boasts such a massive screen but at 480 by 800 pixels, pixel density is pretty low but it is bright with decent viewing angles. Now design wise, it's cheap feeling plastic construction is pretty sturdy and lightweight but the low grade physical buttons are horribly loose and therefore quite fiddly. At 10.4 millimeters thick, it's not exactly what you'd call slim, and the headphone jack is unnecessarily obtrusive, ruining the skate's smooth finish, but overall, the design is attractive enough for a budget phone. On the OS front, the skate is bare compared to its Android rivals, as ZTE hasn't chucked in any apps or widgets, rocking an almost vanilla-like version of 2.3 Gingerbread, so it feels plain, but it is simple and easy to navigate. Unfortunately, it's slow to launch apps and transitions and touchscreen response are equally sluggish. This is in part down to the 800 megahertz processor and 512 meg of RAM. And the 4.3 inch screen saps up the skate's power, so you're gonna need to charge it on a daily basis and you can expect to charge it more if you're constantly bashing away at the phone's interface. But the big screen is fantastic for browsing the web, for example, text looks good and you rarely need to zoom in, which is great considering what you're working with. Now on paper, the five megapixel camera with autofocus and an LED flash sounds pretty impressive, but in reality, it's quite disappointing. Photos lack color and clarity, and whether the flash is on or off, the skate seems incapable of detecting light conditions correctly, even in the most perfectly lit environments. And the LED flash is way too powerful and overexposes almost all shots taken in dim conditions. The on-screen brightness control could prove handy when shooting in low light, but that won't save your snaps. However, despite not offering a dedicated macro mode, the camera does pretty well when in close proximity to a subject, throwing up focus and detail. Video recording, however, is unimpressive and is limited to VGA 640 by 480 pixel resolution. So when pitted against the finer Android handsets, the ZTE Skate is pretty laughable, but it's not trying to compete. It's a cheapest chip smartphone, and yes, it's glossy, heavily plastic construction and fiddly keys might not be perfect, but it is undeniably great value for money. The huge screen makes a massive difference, making it a great contender in the budget Android arena. Yes, it's not gonna give the Samsung Galaxy S2 or the iPhone 4S the run for their money, and if you're a bit of a speed demon, it's probably best to give the skate a wide berth, but if money's a bit tight, you don't want a smartphone with all the bells and whistles, check out the ZTE Skate.